Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. Look at that sunrise. Yes, I am amongst the sheep. The very fluffy sheep. Okay, so the ground does still seem to be quite frozen. It is March. Must be a very cold March. Let's take a look at the weather forecast, see what temperature it actually is. It is 8 degrees, so yeah, I'm guessing the frost is about to melt. So first things first, what we're going to do is take this tractor over to the sell point. We are going to sell it. It is a shame I wanted to keep it, but of course, I think the only way of progressing is to either take out a loan or to sell a machine. We might have to do both, but the longer I can go without taking out a loan, the better. Because it's just something that we have to repay, so... Oh dear. Anyway, let's go over there. We're going to have to add the front loader attacher to the Massey Ferguson. I'm going to put the Massey Ferguson down as the front loader tractor. But eventually I would like to get a JCB telehandler. That would be great. Let's hope we can get a good price for this. I think it's worth about £55,000. I'm not too sure if repairing it first will add value. I really don't know, because you can see it's worth 56769 1662 repair. Obviously, I'm not going to repaint it. That's almost £9,000. But would it add the value? That is the thing. If I save the... I know it's slightly cheating. Slightly. <laughs> if I just save it first of all. Because I don't, we, we can't afford to waste money on the series. Um, because if we do, we're never going to progress. So it's worth fifty-six thousand seven hundred and sixty-eight, sixteen hundred and sixty to repair. Pretty much the same, I think. Is that just the same value? I'm not going to do the calculation. It looks like we have just, yeah, done that for free. So uh, great. There we go. Let's sell it. Goodbye, stay attractor. You've been good. The only reason why I was sort of. Uh, against selling that one is because we did pay to put the narrow tires on it. Anyway, we're going to have to get the Massey Ferguson tractor over there now. We have £107,000, which is pretty good. Yeah, it's bright as the, uh, the frost doesn't melt. It must be going any time now. Although, yeah, you do still get frost in March, certainly in the UK. I would imagine it's the same for France. Not too sure if it's going to be worthwhile doing any repair work. Probably not yet. Okay, so this tractor is worth sixty-one thousand nine hundred nineteen. Customize wheel setup. If we can add the option, that'd be great. We can do that. They're narrow. They look quite similar to the standard. That's the standard. Ever so slightly narrower, uh, which I, I guess makes it look more. Well, it looks, makes it look a bit better looking, I suppose, than those really thin row crops. Front loader attacher, I think we had that style. So that would cost us £2,500. Not bad, really. Good. And here we are back at the farm. Let's just put that front loader on, just to make sure everything is functioning correctly. There it is. I should probably take the weight off, though. Oh, I didn't realise I had two weights. That's good. Always handy to have two weights. So we should never have to buy any more weights. Uh, and I'm a little bit concerned about this frost. I would have thought it would have gone by now. I'm not too sure if it's possible to reset it. I know you can change it to a visual month, so that could be one way of doing it. Actually, I do know a way in the console to actually reset the environment. So that might have to happen. Let me just very quickly test something here. If I just change the visual month to the middle of summer. Okay, so it is still frosty. That is a little bit concerning. In that case, I will I will just reset the environment. I think when you reset the environment, it goes to the middle of August. So we can't do it yet, um, because I need to get the crops in. I'm hoping it won't wipe out the crop, though. So anyway, yeah, that's all working very well. See the front loader? Very, very good. And we have £105,000 to start spending on some important things. So the first thing we need to do is to de-stone the field. We have the double field now, because I joined them together. Uh, so let's just find de-stoners. I know you can use a roller, but I think on this occasion I do want to de-stone. It is quite expensive, £2,652. And let's take a look at some of these used machines. Oh, look, another 3670. It's a good buy. Um, and a T7. Again, there's a pretty good value for money. We could sell the voucher as well. Um, 
but that would mean getting rid of two tractors to get one. Yeah, we'll leave it for now. These tractors can do all the jobs I want them to do at this stage. And the other nice thing about this tractor, keeping this tractor, is we can use the uh, that sort of really big mower with it, the Elho, because you can change the driving position. Left shift and B, we've got another steering wheel on the back here. Forwards becomes reverse. So that could be really good if we were to sell our mowers. We could then buy, let me just very quickly find it on here. We could then buy this one. That is a working width of 7.3 meters. We do just about have the power for it as well. So that is definitely a strong contender. It is more expensive than the setup that we currently have. Anyway, let's just change the seat back because we don't need that for the stone picker. So we're going to stone pick it and I don't know if we can start drilling today. It just depends what the crops are. So we'll probably rest. We're certainly going to start drilling in this episode. We just have to. Now I've not used... I did use it in the first video, but I've not actually used it on this Let's Play. This stone picker. So I'm really hoping that we're going to be able to get it done pretty quickly. And we are going to be able to recover. We're going to recover some of the money which we've spent on leasing. These leasing fees are very expensive. Um, so, yeah, that would be good. It would be something. It's probably like £400, maybe not even that. But something is better than nothing. Okay. Switch it on. Lower it down. And we're picking stones. There doesn't seem to be as many. I don't know if they start to reduce the more you do this. Because we have cleaned the stones from this field before. It's a, it's a good looking system. But I think it's a good thing that the option can be turned off, because I know that not everybody would want to do it. And maybe after a few times, you might want to switch it off. We're almost full, maybe one more load of stones, but yeah, it seems to be filling up much faster over on this side, and the piece that I ploughed, understandably, has loads and loads of uh, stones in it. So I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell, but I kind of get the feeling that the more that we stone pick, the less is going to be. That's not confirmed though, I don't know for sure. Right, okay, so there we go, we are full. Now, I'm actually looking to replace our trailer as well. I know there is, I think it's a class trailer actually. This one here. There are the capacities. It's going to be 12.6 cubic meters, I think, for the standard trailer. And one which we currently have is only eight. So that would be good. And, well, if we're doing loads of stone picking, I guess we could empty this. Yeah, you can empty it. And then you can scoop it up with a front loader and pop it into a trailer. I don't know if that's going to be good for us. Maybe it is, actually. I don't know if that's going to be a good idea. Take it all in one go. Or take it when the price is right. Ah, of course. Stones. They have no fluctuations. So let's just go and sell them. But the option is there. You could just make a big pile. And then scoop it up. And put it into a trailer. I wonder how much we can make. I've not had this much higher capacity one before, so it will be interesting. But it's not going to be uh, making us a fortune. 
Here they go. Rocks. 343 pounds. So that all comes off our rental price. Now I've just looked and we can start to put the crops in the ground so I can start on the other side where we've just been. I'm going to put a worker onto this tractor so we can get that done. Uh, I just don't know if we can afford to get a bigger drill. It would be interesting, it would be good to have. Not essential, because we're never really pressured for time to get the drilling done. You can just put the time to 0.5. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's just easier if it was uh, a bigger drill. Okay, so I'm going to probably start from the other side, because then the worker's not going to get confused about where we haven't, haven't been, because I haven't been doing it perfectly neatly. If we can get another full load, that'd be good, because that would pay for the worker's fees. Okay, so there we go. There is our worker. And you can see, it's not filling up. It must be that it only picks them up where there is an obvious pile. I'm sure of it. Okay, right. So now we need to have the Massey Ferguson tractor. There's our drill. We'll check the used machinery prices. But I think it'll be the same stuff as before. I'll have to have a proper look tomorrow. Oh, it has changed. Um, yes, but uh, that's for horses, so... Absolute bargain. Real bargain, but we just don't need... Oh, look at that. We did buy that. We did buy the front loader. Ah, oh, look, 69% off. But it took a while and we've, we've done plenty with the, uh, the front loader. Okay, so I do have some more seed tucked away behind the Landini. We still have our grapes to sell. I think the best price for those was in May. So we'll just keep hold of them for now. And of course, it would look more spring-like if the frost wasn't on the ground. I'm hoping that when we sleep, the frost will disappear. There we go. Yeah, so we're going to put oats in. This is good because we have the potential to start doing some cereal, although it's unlikely. And we also will get some straw. Straw is good. Do some more baling. Should be able to get the bale auto stacker. So, uh, yeah, let's just check those draw prices anyway. £109,000. We, we have to get it used. We just have to get them used. But that would be good. 210 horsepower. So, realistically, we'd need to upgrade the tractors. Anyway. There we go. We begin. It's a job that we'll start today and we'll finish tomorrow. It'll be good to get into April. And when this has progressed a bit, or maybe even before it progresses, we probably should start thinking about putting fertiliser on as well. So there it is. Yeah, no fertiliser, as you would expect. Hmm, it is going to take a while. Good job of leaving it to a worker, but this is going to be one big harvest. Which I'm very pleased about, because it's about time we had a massive load of income. This, this game seems hard. The economy it, it does seem much harder than uh, in FS19. So I'll do a bit more of this, and then when the other worker finishes, this can go on a worker. Then we're going to sleep, and tomorrow we'll hopefully bring new jobs.
Well, I've taken over again from the stone pick. I've just done all of this. And it's filling up fast. So I'm going to go and empty it again. Uh, we'll come back. We'll probably get another 15 or 20% out of this field. We have a lot of rocks. That is for sure. Right, 97%. Not too sure if I've been in this area before. There does seem to be a few odd piles. But there we go. We are on. Pretty much 100%. That one there will get it. It wasn't even enough to remove the whole pile. Okay, I'll see you over at the cell point. Must be another 350 roughly. crushed. 343. I suppose we could have actually tipped that into the crusher. It would have looked better. Anyway, let's go and finish off. What we don't want is for the drill to catch up with us, but I don't think there's much chance of that. Yeah, it's pretty slow. Okay, so I do have bonus content because I have the collector's edition. Uh, so there is this uh, very nice vintage tractor just here, the Zeta, as you can see. I don't know if I should reserve that though for like a survival series because it's probably not going to be much use to us now on this series. There is also the Fent Black Beauty just here. So yeah, you can unlock these with the Collector's Edition. So I'm going to continue getting this done. There's actually not much left at all, so see you in a second. And our final two are just here. There we go. We're finished. Okay, so now the drill can continue in its own time. We'll just sell these again. Then I can return this. We're going to then sleep until April. I think I do need to reset the environment, but like I said, it will reset the month to August, and we need to let this crop grow more before we do that. So, yeah, the frost problem I can solve, but it might just have to be a, a few months until we do. I don't know the reason for it, but it's happened the moment I've transitioned from the press release to the uh, Steam version, so I don't know if other people will experience this, but it might just be a one-off. And this time, although it's a very small amount, let's actually tip it into the crusher. It'll look so much better. <laughs> a bit too far towards the back. I don't know if it'll actually go in then. No, don't miss it. Oh, crikey. It zoomed in. Yes, I can't wait for the um, camera collision mod. It's been in all the previous versions. It stops it from zooming in if you go up to something, so it can be handy. But I think in that, on that occasion it, it wouldn't have even been close enough anyway, so it doesn't matter. So many people ask me, what do I think of the game? I think it's great. I really do. Uh, I have bought it myself. I paid £65 to get the collector's edition. So I'm not obviously saying that because I did get early access. As much as I appreciate it, I will still be honest. Um, so, yeah, I, I, th I think it's good. I think it would be, it would be nice to have dynamic ground. It, it really would be amazing. Um, so I, I would say that is, that is my one negative point, everything else is really nice. I love how there's so many little details as well. Um, so many things that you don't really even notice until you start playing the game. Okay. Sleep. Welcome back everybody. I have removed the frost. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't want to keep going with it. So it is August now. Um, so the way we're going to do this is I'm going to switch off the calendar and then when the crop ready to harvest and everything or just after that maybe after harvest we can resume with the seasons so, so we can get back on track so yeah you can see can't be planted in August because we've we've moved forward um, I'll just get that sorted out okay there we go so we continue from where we left off and we'll stick with what I just said so that's better 
Yep, we have nice trees, no frost in the wrong time of the year. And I don't think that problem will reoccur. Because of the way I've obviously been playing, I started with the press preview and then we've changed to a completely different version. We've gone to the uh, Steam version. Got my bag of seed. I think the drill is about 10 to 15% full, so we do need to get it topped up. And as you can see, the grass could do with cutting again. So that is what I would do. Of course, I mustn't forget to fertilise. We, we do need to fertilise as well. So let's get it filled up. And you know, I was mentioning earlier about the uh, little details that you don't even notice until you play the game. Like the bag here, you can see how dynamic the shape is. See how it changes as, as you lift it up. Things which you wouldn't even notice or wouldn't necessarily even be featured in a promotional video for the game. You experience these when you play the game. Of course, nothing can be done about my bad driving. There we go. So that might be enough to get half the field done. We're going to have to buy another bag. Get that set off on a worker. Good. Uh, now we do have some honey, as I have the front loader on. Let's get that moved. We actually have a lot of honey now. I am accumulating it over here, and then we can take a huge load in one go. The greenhouse also, I would imagine, has quite a bit of produce in it. I know we have lettuce and tomato. Oh, sorry, lettuce and strawberries. Uh, oh, I've already got it set to selling, so we're already making money. That's good. That would explain why the money didn't really go down overnight, because we are selling everything. And yeah, let us go and get a bag of seed. Maybe two bags, but certainly one bag. Ah, before we do actually, of course we've missed May because of obvious reasons. So. Prices are going down now for the grapes. We just have to get them sold. That's the train. So we'll get them taken over to the train. I'm just going to go and get some more bags first, though, of seed. I added a rear weight. I thought it would be a bad idea to head off without one. Yeah, we're going to be carrying two bags after all. I think buying them in the bags rather than the pallets... Uh, is the most cost-effective way of doing this, I think. Certainly the big bag pallets are not worth doing. They're expensive. Use machines? Ooh! Well, well, well. I think we're about to buy something. What a bargain. You see, this is why this is great, because you can get a really good deal. 58% off the Pottinger Impress. We can make 125 centimetre barrels, so good for hay. We could also do silage. We could, we could we could get a wrapper, but yeah, this would be for hay. I'm going to buy it. I'll have to come back for that, though. And anything else? No, I think, yeah, that, that's everything for now. This is good news. It also means that we could sell the um, the other one, the Massey Ferguson conventional baler. But I, I would have loved to have used the little auto stacker for it. Anyway, let's go into the pallet section. Big bags, we want two of these. I also want to get some chickens at some point as well. I wonder, oh look, you can use the um, the amount here to make it easier. Buy in bulk. Oh, does that mean you get a discount? Oh no. Oh no, not at all. Now here's another feature, which you only really see if you're playing the game, or if you're watching somebody else play the game, you can adjust the distance between the tines. Very handy for if you're doing bags. Oop. There we go. Yep. Another nice feature. 
so we just get it in the right place. Uh, it's got 4% left in it, so what we have here is certainly enough to finish the field. Lower that down. I think it might have been drilling with the cover open. I should have shut it. But, when this is done, I can get the spreader on the back of this tractor. And we can start to fertilise the field. And yeah, I'm going to have to put them on the end of the tines. The bag lifter was more ideal, but we did need the money. Wow, two at the same time. That's good. Close the cover, set off the worker, and we shall return to the farm. I would be very surprised if they want more, but they, well, they might do. It doesn't matter if they do. We'll just go and uh, retrieve the bags. For now, though, they're going undercover. I really like the look of how much wool we have. Looking very good indeed. Uh, now, anybody who uh, is looking at that vineyard thinking, oh, that needs work, not this year. Uh, we're going to make sure we have a much bigger vineyard next time we do grapes, because otherwise we make a loss. And of course, yeah, I shouldn't shouldn't really do anything else without selling these grapes. We do have a train station just down here, the silo. So I'm going to take them there for our very impressive payment. <laughs> it's not going to be much, uh, but at least we're getting something back. Yeah, next time we do grapes, we're going to have a big vineyard. I can't spend... Twelve and a half thousand pounds every time, just to get a thousand back. The next thing I need in the used machinery market. Oh, I love how that car stopped. They're normally in FS19, they used to crash into you. Uh, yeah, the next thing we need in the used machinery market is a used header, so that we can make hay. Okay then, so I'll tip this here. We'll rent a train, and then we can head off with the train to the sell points, which is another place, another location. Here we go then. Lovely. This is the icon over here to rent the train. Press R. And it should actually tell us how far away the train is. It's 1.2 kilometers away. Very nice. My timing was good. Can't see it on the map yet. But it won't be far away and it will come from this direction. Oh, the meters are dropping going to come into view. Where is it on the map? Not here yet. Super close though. So it's going to stop. Oh, it's going from that direction. That's different. Now that's very interesting because last time it came from that way, single track line. Oh, it's reversing. Oh, that is so clever. It's actually changed direction for us, I think. <laughs> it was probably uh, on its way to the next place. This is going to look kind of pathetic with the amount that I've got. It would look very impressive if you had a decent amount. Right, so open cover. Start filling. We have... A hold 755 litres. <laughs> it was just a drip. Oh, okay, let's go. Let's get it taken to the cell point. As I've said before, this is actually a very good way of exploring the map. If you jump into the train, it goes sort of around the outskirts to begin with and then it cuts straight through the middle. And when the train gets to the last part of the map before it departs and before it leaves the map that is when we'll be thrown out and we'll get paid this is it so when it goes over this last crossing it's when it leaves this area so, are you ready? 
£1,269, which actually was more than I was expecting. I thought it would be a 1000 So, if we have a big vineyard, which will be expensive to plant, but if we have one, uh, yeah, grapes could be very, very profitable. So, I look forward to doing them on a big scale, but we have to wait. The same applies to olives. I can't wait to get olives going. I really want to grow olives. Make olive oil. Now that we have some more money though, it's going to be good. It's going to be much easier. And I'm on the wrong side of the road. I'm now going to go and retrieve our new baler. Can't wait to see that. But yeah, fertilising is the priority. It's nice that we do now have a fertiliser spreader. Makes all the difference. Yeah, let's go and get it with this. <laughs> it shouldn't be too hard to pull it. That is the nice thing about these small round balers, they don't take that much power. You probably could even get away with using this tractor. Yeah, it starts it up. I reckon it could do it. Getting too excited about seeing it. We need to fix it, it's quite worn out. So it's going to cost £1,964 to fix. Not too bad. As you can see now on the maintenance gauge, it is 100% fixed. And the paint works good too. For now, this can just go with the other baler, which we are probably going to sell. As I said, it would be very nice to see the auto stacker. You can do 14 bales, 14 conventional bales in one go, in one stack. Okay, right, so <laughs> I don't think we can uh, do the fertilizer spreading with this. That is a job for the Massey Ferguson, since it has the row crop tires. I think the sheep are doing okay for water. So yeah, we'll finish off with the fertilising and that will put us in a very good place uh, for the next episode. Ah, we have a mower. Yes, we do need to mow as well. Really looking to do hay. We've done silage. I know silage brings in some good money, but I think hay could be interesting as well. And if we can get a used tether, we won't actually have to rent anything at all. We have the mowers, we have the baler. Oh, sorry, we don't have a windrower. <laughs> There's always something. So we do. We need a windrower and we need a teller to be able to do that. Anyway, we already have some fertilizer. I don't think it'll be enough, but we haven't even finished drilling yet, so it'll be enough for the area that we've done. Let's get it covered. Super good working with. Yeah, that really is impressive. It's probably about 25% of the field left to do. And I am now, because I'm on Steam, I'm getting all the Steam achievements. Should see the colour change. Yeah, there you go. The reason why it hasn't fertilised that little piece, I think, is because that used to be grass. And you probably can already, f yeah, you can fertilise there anyway, so I, I could just do it. We have 14% left. I'll make sure I cover that area first. so close to the end, we'll just finish it. And that is the field done. The reason why it's lighter in the middle is because that's where it's drilling over it, but it's still fertilised. 
as you'll see on the fertilizing map. There we go. All covered in one big field. So I think, yeah, that's some pretty good progress for one episode. Um, yeah, I think progress is never going to be super fast because we are starting off with not that much and we have to work our way all the way to the top. But I'm quite happy really with the speed. I just wish I had more vines. So thank you so much for watching everybody. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. There will be another one coming tomorrow. I think I'm back to one episode per day again. Uh, there might be a few bonus episodes as well. Some multiplayer ones. My multiplayer server is now open. The information is on my community page. But thank you so much for watching. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.